Good evening, yogis and yoginis. We're back at Boyd Lake with Meeker and Long's Peak behind me. We're hoping to catch a sunset before all the gnats in the books come out. The sequence we're doing now is a grounding sequence. Keep in mind that you have three to five breaths in each pose. Take as long as you want in that. Uh, take nice, easy, long breaths, and then just go at your own pace. Modify any way you need to. Taking a nice deep breath, reaching up. We're going to swan dive to forward fold. Exhale to downward facing dog. Runner's lunge, right leg goes forward, stretching the opposite leg back. Sweeping that back leg forward to half table. On the exhale, forward fold. Upward salute. Swan dive, forward fold. Take it to down dog. Left leg goes forward to runner's lunge. Couple more breaths to half table. And sweeping that back leg forward to half table. To forward fold. Upward salute, palms together. We're going to add a side bend, going to the left or right. And slowly work your way back up. Nice deep inhale. Exhale to the other side. And working your way back. And we're going to stretch our quads, challenging your balance, grounding that right foot. Draw that left heel to you. Knee stretches down, arm relaxes to your side, or reaching for your foot. And then we're going to slowly release. Legs are hip width apart, coming into a squat, push down. And then slowly extend, draw the left knee towards the rib cage. Flex your foot, grounding that balancing right leg. Breathe, relax. And release, coming back into your squat, press. And then slowly extend, drawing the right heel to your hip, knee to the floor, arm to your side, or reach that arm behind you. Couple more breaths. And relax, press down, knees point forward. And slowly extend, draw that right knee to you, flex your foot, try to relax your legs, stretch back. A few more breaths, woohoo! Release, sweeping the arms up, upward salute. Swan dive, forward fold. To half table. Runner's lunge, left leg sweeps back. Bringing the left knee down to the mat. Relax your back foot, relax your arms to your sides, look up. Stretch those arms back, lift up. Arms sweep all the way up. And slowly extend to runner's lunge. Intense forward fold. Soften the front knee, sweep that back leg forward. Runner's lunge, opposite leg. Relax that knee, soften. Relax your arms as you shift the weight forward. Arms extend back. Lifting up and stretching the arms up as you lift through the chest, stretching up. Exhale to intense forward fold. 
Extending the front leg, relax and stretch forward. Soften the front knee as you sweep that back leg forward. Half table. To forward fold. Warrior one. Grounding that back leg. Working your way up. Warrior one. Lateral angle stretch. Intense forward fold as you work your way back to that front leg. Rounding that foot. Left arm behind your back. Open up. Back to intense forward fold. Easy breaths. Soften. Runners, warrior one, opposite side. Lateral angle stretch. Intense forward fold. Bringing that arm behind your back, stretching the upper shoulder. And slowly work your way back, soften, forward fold, upward salute, and relax your shoulders, relax. Coming into anatomical, triangle. And work your way back. Nice deep breath. Triangle on the opposite side. Working your way back. Nice deep breath. Stretch it up. You take it back to intense forward fold. Right side. Warrior one. And take it to warrior three, grounding that right leg, lifting through that left leg, arm stretch back, grounding, nice easy breaths. If you lose your balance, work your way back to warrior one. Warrior three. Focus. Good. Runner's lunge. And working your way back to the other side. Intense forward fold. Warrior one. Warrior three. Rounding that balancing down as you lift, stretch that leg up and back. A couple more breaths. And runner's lunge. Going back. And then just relax and straddle forward fold. Walking the hands to the right leg. Take that arm behind you. And slowly work your way back. Other side. And slowly work your way back. Going back to runner's lunge, we're going to take it to chair. Sweeping the left leg forward, grounding your feet. Your knees are pointed forward, coming into chair. A few more breaths. 
And slowly extend, coming into standing forward fold. To half table. Coming into a squat. Stretching those arms forward. Relax your head down. If you feel strong on the wrist and the palms, taking it into crane or crow, bending at the elbows, coming onto the toes, stretching one foot off the floor, option one. Relax down, nice deep breath. Take the other foot off the floor. Relax down, grounding the hands, Pressing, bend those elbows, stretching forward, nice easy breath. Stay as long as you feel comfortable, coming into crane or crow. And then you'll extend, and slowly bring yourself back down to the mat. We're going to take it to boat pose, bringing those knees in, option one. Stretch out those legs, extend those arms. Option two, arm extends out. And take it back to the other side. And slowly work your way back. Extending those legs, take that right foot forward. Just going to add a forward fold as you reach and stretch. Exhale down. And slowly work your way up to cross-legged seated position. Add a twist. Option one. Work your way back. Going deeper. Cow face. And stretch back. And whether you're in cow face, stretch forward. If you're in seated cross-legged, work your way forward. Whatever feels comfortable. And slowly work your way back up. Other side, arms extend up, belly presses in, exhale, release the breath, stretch forward. Slowly work your way back up, cross-legged, twisting, option one. Cow face a little deeper. that forward fold and cow face. Or cross-legged. And slowly work your way back up. Taking it to another variation of locust. Coming onto your belly. Legs together. Bring the hands behind your head and slowly lift up as you stretch those arms out and relax down, head rotates, work your way back, locust, slowly release, rotate. And you want to do this particular locust three times. When you've had enough, stretch out that low back. Go into devotional. And we're going to slowly set ourselves back into hero, either on your heels 
or your legs to the outer edges. And so we're going to stretch the left arm up, reaching it up. Stretch that hand behind you. Pushing that arm back, tricep stretch. Or you could take it up here. And you can also take it behind you, reaching for the fingers. And you want to stay three to five deep breaths, just relaxing that upper body. When you've had enough, extend those arms out, reach up. And then slowly release the arms down. Opposite arm reaches up. And slowly relax down. We're going to come up onto our knees as you stretch up. Option one. Going deeper. Stretching that chest and arms back. On the exhale, going back to devotion. Relax. Inhale as you work your way back up. You want to do at least three to five of these as you reach and stretch. And slowly bring yourself back down. And one more. Reach up. Nice deep breath. Go deeper if you can. Stretching back. And slowly release. We're going to take it to a hero variation. Your toes are grounded. You're going to rotate as you look over to that left foot or left side and then you're going to rotate the upper body back stretch up and then slowly go a little deeper into hero three to five breaths relax go to the other side as you twist reaching for the opposite heel rotate back option one just stretching up option two going back a little further Work your way back. Bring yourself to tabletop. Going back to devotional. Stretching to either side. Work your way back. Stay as long as you want in any of the poses. Stretching. And if the body draws you to add a couple cat cows, Stretch out that spine. You can end up in devotional, stretching back. You can stay there as long as you feel comfortable. Working your way back up to seated. Relax those shoulders, and then just shrug the shoulders up and back, a couple of breaths, switch the direction. <sighs> Add maybe a side bend, just a counter stretch, just stretch that upper body. And when you've had enough, you work your way back up to cross-legged seated position. And you slowly bring yourself into this peaceful place, tuning in with the breath, being <clears throat> grateful for your body and all that it does for you. Staying safe, staying healthy, truly blessed. And you soften your gaze, you close your eyes, palms up or down. Feel the rise of the breath, the fall of the breath. And 
Sealing in the healing energy, bringing those palms together. Take a few more deep breaths. Thank you, yogis and yoginis. Namaste.